Rocco, smile. Choco, lighten up! Shouldn't I have a reason to smile? Yes, the uh, fact that you're still employed! Don't touch me! What's gotten into you? Mm, today is Bakery Town's Happy Small Business Day! Keyword happy! Mm. <clears throat> I'm here on behalf of Bakery City Hall. Yes, welcome! We're over the mooncake to have you here! Mm. Looks fairly clean. Okay. Employees get regular paychecks, too. <laughs> Employee happiness index... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, seems you pass in every regard except your employee happiness index is low. That can't be true! They're happy! Happiest in town, right? Sir, <sighs> does this employee look happy to you? This shop is disqualified from receiving government subsidies until workplace joy is restored. Good day to you all. But, but, but wait! Uh, I need that money, not again! <laughs> it's your fault we're not chosen for the subsidy! This is a very joyful place to work! Can't you just smile? What? <sighs> 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 Uh, my silliest faces didn't work. I'll have to try. What? I'm not funny? Wait, huh? Let me give it a shot. Ta da! I'm sure I'll make you laugh with this. Huh? Is this ticklish mm. on your foot? What the crust? Uh, oh, nothing seems to work. Aha! Hmm. Ah, the first person to make Choco smile will receive seven dollars! Um. <sighs> Where are all the crowds? Will, are you sure you put the sign outside? Of course I did. No one's gonna come for seven bucks. I heard I can make seven dollars here. Times are hard for actors. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll make someone laugh. Okay, <laughs> uh. welcome everyone, and for the grand prize of seven dollars, it's the Make Chuckle Smile Contest. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to introduce the first contestant with a distinctive smell, but a face that's so cute, it's cheese. Chaco, I brought something you can't resist. Ta-da! Ah, his weapon of choice is a smartphone. I'm just going to show you the latest episode of Comedy Crumb Fest. Oh, yeah. Socially relevant sketch comedy? There's just no way she'll resist that. See? This show's awesome. Isn't it funny? Nah, that's not my thing. Huh? No way! But everybody likes Comedy Crumb Fest. Oh! <laughs> You're curdling me! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Looks like contestant number one just couldn't cut the cheese. Now, moving on. He's got a million dollar face, but will burn at too high a temperature. Butter! Mm. Ah. Whoa, he's so awesome! That's a beautiful mugshot on that guy. Yeah, I'd share my box with him. Hey there, Choco. I'm here to make you smile. <laughs> Choco, you can be the macaroni to my cheese. <laughs> Choco, are you made of marshmallows and graham? Because I would love to see you some more. <laughs> are you a soft drink? Because you're so delicious. Hey, do you smell burning? They say butter melts easily, but I'm on fire for you, Choco. Uh, oh. Don't make me barf. <sighs> oh, it looks like our second contestant has failed as well. He really thought that would work. <laughs> and now, give it up for... Me! I'm up next. <laughs> Those seven bucks are mine, all mine. Smile, now. Or else! Or else what? Else you'll be real sorry. You're in for it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You think that's funny? 
Let me fix those smiles! <laughs> hey! Give me that cash! I need it for barrel! <laughs> Let's hope our third contestant won't return! But this contest is still going strong! Give a warm welcome to our next competitors! La 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 la! <sighs> <laughs> One two, 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 one two. I don't think there's anyone who can make her smile. I guess some people just aren't meant to be as happy as others. Mm. Nobody wins. Let's just bring this contest to a close. Mm. Huh? Oh. Package delivery. <gasps> <gasps> Choco, right? This package is for you. Good crust! Only ordering things online makes her happy! <laughs> Hello! The winner of our Make Chuckle Smile contest is... This delivery <laughs> guy! <laughs> Congrats, sir! This $7 prize money is yours! <laughs> <laughs> Lonely Tart <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentle friends. Welcome to the greatest makeover show, Master Patissier! <laughs> What are you slackers watching this time? Master Bread, have you heard of this show before? Master Patissier gathers top hairdressers and brings them on to transform people's lives. Mm, those stylists look average at best. By the way, you've got mail from the TV station here. Mm -hmm. We cordially invite you to appear on Master Patissier. Wow! Appear on the show? Uh, we gotta do it, okay? Uh, we don't have time. We're better off making money in the shop. All our fabulous hairdressers are awarded with a new sports car. <laughs> Choco, clear my schedule. Where do I need to go to do this thing? Says you need to be at the broadcast studio next Tuesday at noon. <clears throat> Would be rude of me to reject this invitation. Whoa, this means you're going to go? Sausage, we need to make a sign to cheer him on. <laughs> Shocking transformations, tear-jerking real-life stories. I'm your host, Croissant. Welcome to the world's best makeover show, Master Patissier! <laughs> so, most tarts have fillings like they're supposed to. But what happens when one is born empty inside? Please welcome on stage, Tart! Tell us, what's wrong? Mm, uh, I don't have any custard. Lord! A tart with no custard cream? You sure it's true? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Great Scott! A tart with no custard filling can't even be called a tart at all. You think he'd uh. use whipped cream or some other alternative? Mm -hmm. It's been like this since I was born. Huh? There's nothing in this one. Can't put this one out. Those look delicious. And that fruit topping. Oh, like tiny little pies. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor kid! I only want to live like a normal dessert! My heart aches for this poor kid who just wants to be like other tarts. 
But don't worry, it's what I do. We at Master Patissier have found the best barber in Bakery Town and brought him in to grant your wish. <laughs> no gain without grain, it's Master Red! Master Bread, have you prepared a miracle to turn this tart's life around? Piece of cake. I'll start with homemade custard cream, piling it gently on here. And top it off with strawberry slices. You'll look fine, fresh, and fruity. Whoa! And now, without further ado, let's start! Ah. <laughs> First, he begins by preparing the custard filling. Oh! Just look at that technique, Flaps! A veteran for sure! Ha <laughs> ha! What? And just like that, what? he's got a head full of sweetness. <laughs> now time to touch up. No, oh, I can hardly Ooh. handle the drama. Amazing. He really is the best stylist in the world. <laughs> so cool. Slice like a ninja. His moves are all exciting. <laughs> Wow! Oh, my crust! Genius! This is why we're here, to see incredible transformations mm. like this. Uh. <laughs> well done, Master Fred! Everyone back in the shop is so proud of you! Oh, and now, bring down the mirror! <laughs> Think it's good? Yeah, looks great, sir. Tart loves his makeover! But there's one more surprise we brought for you. Please welcome Tart Brothers! You're our brother! You know we always got your back! <laughs> Holy waffles! <laughs> That's just for me? What a shocking twist! Tart's brothers have foregone their filling, too! This isn't who I am! Thank you! Are you kidding? I worked hard on that! <laughs> we know it hasn't been easy. We'll always be here. <laughs> oh, those custom cream ingredients are cheap. Master Bread, this means you can't have the sports car, but better luck next time. What? You know how hard I worked on the design for that stupid kid? <laughs> Master Bread is just getting emotional, too. Good night, and we'll see you all next time. In the... Oh, my flaky cross! Hmm? Ooh, boss. Looks like another letter from Master Patissier. I want nothing to do with that show. We'd love to have you on our show again. The ratings were through the roof. I bet you won't be back, you stale old croissant. Choco, look after the shop. <sighs> hm. Stupid show thing. Strawberry and chocolate. Ah, oh, Romeo, my love. On this full moon, what couldst thou be up to? What perfect lighting I have. Tis time for a selfie to send to Romeo. And a one, two... Juliet! <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, calm down. Tis me. Romeo? How comes here, though? Thy strawberry scent draws me, even in the chocolatey darkness of night, my love. Romeo... Juliet! <laughs> Romeo? <laughs> Give me my long spoon, ho! A chocolate <laughs> cake! How darest thou come here? <laughs> Juliet! Father, let Romeo go! Silence, daughter! <laughs> Please, sire, Juliet is my world! In no world will Juliet and thou be together! Take this villain out with haste! Yes, yes cuz! <laughs> Juliet! Romeo! Juliet! Romeo! 
If thou meet'st that cad once more, you will be banished! <laughs> Romeo! <laughs> Dearest, not approach Juliet again! I'll rip out thy chips, thou chocolate coward! <laughs> oh, Juliet, if thee and me couldst be together, into the hottest oven or frozen freezer I'd go! Hast thou lost thy mind? The daughter of my ancient enemy! You'll be banished from my house if you ever see her again! That's not fair! Juliet and I are in the truest of true love! Foolish boy, thou hast gone mad! <gasps> Mom! Husband, stay thy foul mood. Romeo, apologize to thy father now. Uh, it's no matter. The Valentine's Day party is nigh. A fair chocolate maid will find. One right for thee and this family. Father, I protest! Romeo, please understand. Unless a strawberry cake you're baked anew, there's no world for you and Juliet. Uh, then I'll become a strawberry cake! But thou shalt not see Juliet again! Indeed, this is Bread Barbershop! I'm certain Master Bread can turn chocolate to strawberry! Then Juliet's parents shall bless our fair union! 98, 99, 100. That's the number we'll be taking for Valentine's Day this year. Madam, what of me, though? Come earlier next year. But I've brought all the money in my purse! Ugh, money is but worthless without my love! Ah! <laughs> Juliet! <laughs> hmm. In the spirit of St. Valentine, I'll accept just one more customer. You want me to turn you into a strawberry cake? Yes, Master Bread. Tis the only way, by my truth. Well, kid, not everyone gets to be baked as a delicious chocolate cake. Why are you trying to change? I must be a strawberry cake for Juliet and I to freely love. Without Juliet, even the richest of chocolate cake is poor. Don't cry now. But who's Juliet, though? Juliet, my sweet <laughs> strawberry love. But friends, our families are mortal foes. Two cake mixes, both alike in dignity. An ancient grudge twixt chocolate and strawberry. These chocolate cowards, this count is ours. Why do the strawberries grow fussy when tis spring no longer? <laughs> Not but a frozen berry! For hundreds of years, our families have fought! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Tis bad luck to run into a chocolate cake before the morn is done! I wondered from whence that stench came from. Twas strawberry. Huh? Thou art the color of poop! Comest at me, very brave! Our parents are still old enemies! <laughs> Oh. I never saw true beauty till now. I think my strawberries might burst. At first sight, Juliet and I fell fast in love. We won't let the feud betwixt our families star-cross our love. Tis tragic, Romeo. Real sad, yeah. Please, make me strawberry now! Then Juliet's parents shall finally permit our love! Okay, pal, I'll make you into the sweetest strawberry slice in town! Wilk, <laughs> bring all my strawberry stuff here, stat! Sir! Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. When I'm through, you yourself won't know who you are. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, for anything! First, let's take this chocolate topper off. Juliet is my uh. whole life, and this topper uh. gets in the way. Hey, love's barrier, fall away. Uh, that is beyond tacky. Uh. Uh, I got goosebumps. Now, time for some strawberry cream. Oh, oh, this pink cream is as pure as our love. <laughs> oh, strawberries, uh. just like fair Juliet's uh. hair. Oh, Juliet, uh, thine eyes at mm. night shine brighter than the fullest moon. Uh, well, shut uh, this guy's mouth. I can't uh, work here. Master Bread, deep breaths. Smell all the money Romeo was paying you. Oh, what perfection! 
Congrats, kid. You're a strawberry oh. king. Venus, goddess of beauty and true love, sent the great barber uh. bread to renew uh. mine hope once more. Oh, my dear Juliet, we'll finally be together soon. Well, I'm beat. Let's close up. Yeah. What oh, is that? Yes. Yes. What if it's discovered oh, that I'm delicious. a chocolate cake? Oh, my. <laughs> my berries look uh, fresh too. Uh, See, is that with strawberry uh, cream? They recognize me not. Now I must find fair Juliet. Oh, oh fine. Beg, beg your pardon. Huh? <laughs> Who art thou? Uh, father. Huh? What hast thou done? Father, stay thou. I'll tell you. Silence. Thou art the heir of the chocolate clan. Now thou art a foul strawberry cake. Uh... Romeo, thou looks better with all thy chocolate covered. Congrats, thou art now a strawberry cake. It suits thee well. <laughs> Should have changed before. To marry fair Juliet, now I'm a strawberry cake. Please, sir, let us be betrothed. Thou shalt not. <laughs> now that thine only heir is turned strawberry, <laughs> Tis kettles for your family! <laughs> <laughs> Lookest thou not smug, knave? <laughs> Seest who's here. What? Uh, is thou J Juliet? <laughs> Why art thou a chocolate cake, daughter? <gasps> Did he trick you? No, no. I changed to be with my love, Romeo. <laughs> Husband! What hast thou done? You're a disgrace! <laughs> Father, ow! Putting strawberry cream on thyself shames us all! Now come! Husband, Father. calm thyself! No matter what thou does, I'll ne'er let you to be with her! Give up! Enough! Please stop, all of you! Heavens above, why must you make us suffer so? Let us love each other! Juliet, let us away! Yes, Romeo! <laughs> Stop right there, boy! Juliet, together we may leap over any wall betwixt our love! Dearest Romeo, <laughs> with thee anywhere I will go! <laughs> Save Juliet from that villain! Bring Romeo back now! Yes! <laughs> Insane youths, come quietly! Juliet, even death can take me from you! Romeo, without thee, nowhere I'll go. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, time to pick this year's Valentine couple. And this year's Valentine couple is... Congratulations, Romeo and Juliet! They're a chocolate and strawberry cake couple. How delicious. What foolishness is this? Get me down from there! And now, the couple will kiss. <laughs> Strawberry and chocolate have finally become one. Love does conquer all. Stop this instant and this. Congratulations. This year's Valentine couple will be given a special gift from the queen. Who cares for gifts? A brand new sports car. <laughs> Hot night heads right now. A penthouse in Eclair Estates. <sighs> it doesn't end there, folks. If these two get married, the queen will give a one million dollar prize. <sighs> I always thought Romeo to be a sweet boy. Romeo's a catch, I do agree. Juliet's truly fair, don't you think it's so? Uh, I think so. <laughs> no one can control who their child loves. It is true! Get married! Get married! Get married! Get married! Get married! Our parents cheer too. I oh. know. Well then, seems they have finally <laughs> accepted us. I love you, Juliet. Me too, Romeo. Mm. Wow! Romeo and Juliet get to be happy. It's true love. Love, yeah. Master Bread, you know Romeo and Juliet both wanted to be like the other cake. <laughs> so why'd you change them both? Uh, mm -mm. A true barber always meets the customer's needs. Wow, I knew there was a reason. I thought you were trying to get double the dough for the same hairdo. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to Nothing. say? 